This is gonna be bad. Welcome to Josh's Hot Takes, the show where I torture myself for your enjoyment and I talk about a movie. Today I'm going to be talking about Magic Mike, but we all know why you're really here. The Pocky One Chip Challenge. It's time to make the fucking chimichangas. Cheers, boys. This is going to be bad. So it's not quite hot yet. It's heating up. All right, my heart's starting to pound. Yeah, we're getting there. Magic Mike is a movie about Channing Tatum, there's the hiccups, <laughs> living in Tampa, Tampa Bay, dear God. <laughs> Whoa. He, he works a side job, or a day job, as a construction worker, and he meets the kid from Alex Ryder Stormbreaker. It's a touching moment. He invites the kid to, to promo for him for a uh, strip, strip show. Eventually, Kevin Nash, yes, the Kevin Nash, gets too drunk or high or sleepy to go up on stage. So the kid has to go up on stage. Ha! Oh. Kid goes up on stage and in what they call his saggy ass draws, gives a hell of a show and they decide he's the future of stripping in Tampa Bay. I hate myself. If I didn't have to give this review, it wouldn't be so bad. So that was a fucking lie. Kid goes up on stage. Turns out he likes stripping. Imagine that. A movie about stripping where somebody likes to strip. Nobody saw it coming. Uh. Oh, sponsor me, Diet Coke. I'm doing this for you. So he joins the team, um, which includes Kevin Nash, Channing Tatum, that one guy from CSI Miami, and Matt Bomer. Why did I do this? This is how much I love you. Ha! Huh. It really burns the back of the tongue more than anything. It makes it really difficult to oh, take a good breath. It's not the chip, it's just this movie really gets me worked up. Drugs get involved. Drugs. No. Uh, because it turns out, just like in the bar industry, Drugs are everywhere. And the kid likes Molly, I think. Uh, so he likes Molly enough that Gabriel Iglesias decides they need to sell it together. This is not a joke. This is terrifying. So he goes in on what they call a full pack, which... Fuck if I know. The kid says it's 100 pills. Turns out it's 1,000. And they leave them at a sorority house because... Kid's a dumbass. This is bad. So they lose a bunch of drugs and uh, the kid's been staying with Channing Tatum for quite some time now. And uh, he leaves and Channing Tatum's house is raided by Gabriel Iglesias and two kind of fit guys. I don't know. It was a little unbelievable. I feel like Channing Tatum could have either beat them up or won a dance battle against the two of them. Either way, it would have been great. <laughs> My tummy's upset. So, Channing Tatum happens to have $13,000 stashed away in his house to pay for the bills. The pills. Pills, not the bills. He uses other money for the bills. Underwear money, I think. Uh, so, he pays off the drug dealers, falls in love with the kid's sister. Oh, I forgot about that. The kid has a sister. And he's also in love with Olivia Munn. I don't know. There's a whole thing. Uh, I'm just not in my right mind right now. You understand. <sighs> While I'm recovering, remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. All right. So the kid thinks he's hot shit. Matthew McConaughey also thinks he's hot shit. Nobody else thinks he's hot shit because he's not hot shit. I'm saying hot shit a lot. Oh. <sighs> Oh, my belly. There's a fire in my belly. We're going to take a short intermission because 
I forgot where I was. The one chip challenge is you versus the Reaper. He's winning. I'm a glutton for punishment. Mmm. Where was I? Uh, Matthew McConaughey. That was probably a bad idea. Loves the kid. I think I'm okay. Um, the kid is a great stripper and an even better drug addict. I'm in very much pain. Mmm. Tasty. Um, Gabriel Iglesias apologizes and that's enough. Because we're all friends here. Channing Tatum quits stripping because he's in love with the kid's sister. And wood. And steel. He likes to make furniture. I think I forgot to tell you that. He's an entrepreneur who can't get a business loan. All right, so here's the thing I really wanted to talk about. Fuck the rest of the story. Matthew McConaughey goes off with the kid. They go to Miami. They start uh, a new strip club. And Channing Tatum stays behind to make furniture and bone the kid's sister. Everybody gets a happy ending. Until the next movie. Which is nothing like this one. So what I'd like to talk about is this movie is very dark. Way darker than you would expect when you think about a movie that's about a whole bunch of naked guys. Uh, this movie, at its core, is really about trying to get out of an industry and get into a career. It's also about getting away from drugs, I guess. Or not buying drugs from Gabriel Blaine. I don't know. It's a thing. The point is, Channing Tatum doesn't have good credit because he's been a stripper his whole life. Because fucking look at him. So he doesn't have any sort of credit, and he's trying to get a business loan so he can open up this furniture business. It's not going well. He's been shut down a whole bunch of times, despite however many disguises, not disguises, but I imagine that he wore disguises a few times, no matter how many times he applied for the business loan. My love of the spotlight has brought me here. Drink Diet Coke. Mm. Now the reason I wanted to talk about this movie is Channing Tatum is really a sympathetic character in this movie. This is not a bad movie. It's just an uncomfortable movie to watch because... butts. Although there's a few shots of Olivia Munn... choice. Now, as uncomfortable as the stripping scenes in this movie might be for, I don't know, a lot of people, this movie tells a much grander story than just that of a stripper trying to get out of stripping. Josh wants to be a stripper, he just doesn't have the body. I'm just too chunky to be a stripper and not fast enough to sell drugs. None of that made sense. For anyone who's ever worked an industry job and felt the thrill of the hustle, but also wanted something a little more steady, this is the perfect film for you. I'm not saying watch it more than once. I'm just saying this movie's kind of about you. If you're an industry worker and you're trying to establish yourself in a career or pay for school, or you've just struggled in the hustle, this movie's gonna speak to you in a way that you might not expect it to. because. At its heart, this movie has heart. It talks about guys that love what they do, and it talks about someone who uses the industry as a stepping stone to get where he really wants to be. He's a creative person who wants to start a creative business, and stripping is just a means to an end. Everybody's been fucked over by a boss, just like Channing Tatum in this movie. Everybody's been passed over for a promotion, just like Channing Tatum in this movie. Everybody's made friends that burned them, just like Channing Tatum in this movie. Yet he keeps going, he keeps persevering, and he never loses sight of his dreams. And if there's one thing my flaming tongue can tell you before I finish, it's that I'm dying. And also, don't lose sight of your dreams or your Diet Coke. That said, this has been Josh's Hot Take. I need something. Say goodbye. So, nothing. What movie are you doing? Magic Mike. Why are you so sweaty? Movie makes me hot. Later.